So, Bunny. Yes. It has been a while. A while. Uh huh. But this has been burning a hole in my heart, which sounds remarkably like an 80s hair metal power ballad. Yes. You are burning a hole in my heart. <laughs> yeah. Because it was hair metal, so a lot of screeching. Uh huh. Burning a hole in my heart, girl. And everyone what? had one, and they were all popular. I, yeah, I didn't yeah. understand the hair. The power ballad thing. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Maxwell, sing your version. Oh my God, is uh, Ronnie James Dio in front of me? <laughs> no, it was just Maxwell. I thought for sure it was Ronnie James Dio. <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. But this has been burning a hole in my heart for quite some time. Yeah. It's a good song. It's a good song. It's catchy. What what I'm trying to say is it is time once again for another wildly unpopular installment of Steve's Unpopular Opinions. It has been a long time. A while. Because when I'm doing the graphics, I bring all the graphics up and then I start shutting what we're not using. Yeah. The last time you did this was for the eclipse. Yeah. No, it, it's been a while. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to wait until I found one I was really passionate about and I'm really passionate about this. This week's Steve Unpopular Opinions is taking on music, specifically the life and career of now rap uh god uh huh eminem eminem yeah he has a song out bunny a new single where he once again hides behind a pretty female sung chorus yeah that was also uh the basis of his last big hit basically it's uh I am a female singing the good part. <laughs> this is the good part of the Eminem song. When you think of this song, you'll only think of this good part. This <laughs> is the good part of this song. Well, here Eminem comes to ruin the song. Ruin the song <laughs> with my stupid lyrics. Hey, bitch, fuck you, bitch. You're a fag, bitch, bitch. So that's my Eminem impression. I'm really proud of it. It's it's damn good. Thank you. His new song is called Walk on Water. Okay. Jesus. Literally, like this man it, it, like Jesus complex much? Really? <laughs> it's and also it's ridiculous that that it's 2017. And he's still rapping about how he's an underdog fighting the system with finger quotes. Bitch, you're pushing 50. <laughs> fighting the system anymore. You are a freaking system. Yes. <laughs> you are the system. So screw his new single. Basically, it plays like a parody of other uh, uh, much more popular Eminem songs. But that's not what this is about. That's not what this Steve's Unpopular Opinions is about. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put my anti Eminem rant on pause for a wee bit oh, and talk about uh, Time Magazine's uh, person of the year, yes. the hashtag Me Too movement. Uh huh. Uh, women are finally being heard. People are finally being heard. And they're coming forward with their stories of sexual harassment and sexual assault. assault. Yes. Uh, and, and now big and powerful men, cough, cough, white men, are finally being held accountable for their actions. Yes, Maxwell. Did you want to say something about uh, sexual harassment in America? What did you want to say? 
you can have a little bit of your Christmas candy, but only because you earned it because it was so freaking cold at the Christmas parade. So, I, 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 I'm, I'm a little bit upset about the cover because they sh- it, it, the cover features. You know, like a like a like a group of women who came forward with their stories, and I'm like, that's great. What about Terry Crews? Terry Crews, yeah, big, uh, massively buff black guy who's also really funny. He's in Brooklyn Nine Nine, okay, and he's been in a bunch of different movies. Anyway, he came forward with stories of sexual harassment, and I'm like, that's great because you're a big buff, like six foot six guy, yeah. And you should also come forward and your story should be just as valid as everybody else's. I saw some people laughing about his stories of 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 like sexual harassment and, and like people trying to like take advantage of him and like try to rape him and stuff. But it's like, no. Well, who harassed him? Like uh And when he was just starting out and it was like a, like a, someone from his, what's the word? You're, you're an actor. You've got like a company. Not, not, not his company, not his troop, but like his, his manager or his handler or his, uh, one of his people. Yeah. Who who he was trying to, to get in with anyway, like a Terry Crews is, is one of a number of faces that are pictured in the magazine, but I thought it would have been powerful to have him on the cover because this is person of the year, not uh, brave women of the year. Cause it goes both ways. There are also yeah. men that are affected by this, but anyway, so, so big and powerful men, mainly white men are finally being held accountable for their actions. Remember, if you will, a few weeks ago during our free band name of the week segment, when we talked about, uh, uh, what's his name? Christian Slater being called out for his previous yes. uh, uh, his previous uh, indiscretions and he went nuts and called the British reporter a salacious cunt. Yeah. Um, so what we're doing as a society right now, we're taking a long hard look not only at, at on powerful men now but also on uh, powerful men's past history with women. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm that soon we as a society can come together and collectively say, no, Chris Brown, you can't still be famous anymore. You can't still be releasing albums. Yeah. And be considered like a sex symbol when you beat the crap out of Rihanna and like threw her out of a moving fucking car. Yeah. And also I'm looking at you, R. Kelly. Yeah your ass is next hold on a second and, uh, and no one's watching this tv but it's like super who put the tv up don't put the tv up okay well tell anyone else who tries to not to put it up can't have copyrighted crap behind this so also also the fact that we're taking a long hard look at people's past history with women may or may not be the reason why no one has really seen Sean Penn for a year. Yeah. It was the last time you saw Sean Penn, bunny. I don't keep track of Sean Penn. Sean Penn doesn't much interest me. I've never considered him much of an actor. Well, I've been waiting for him to resurface because, goddamn... He tied uh, Madonna to a chair and beat the crap out of her with a bat. Yeah. yeah. Beat her to a bloody pulp with a baseball bat for like days. Oh, and now the Me Too movement is uh, sweeping across America and suddenly Sean Penn's nowhere to be found. <laughs> Singing out with Richard Simmons somewhere. Yeah. Fading out. <clears throat> Interesting. And so this brings us back full circle to apparently legendary musician Eminem, who has a troubling history of misogyny, a troubling history of hating women. Here are some things that are in his songs, Bunny, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. He wrote a song about killing his mom. Okay. He wrote a number of songs about killing his mom. 
He wrote one song that was literally just about how he wanted to strangle his girlfriend to death. Okay. Numerous mentions of uh, women he wants to rape. Uh, here's here's a really fucked up part. So Lana Del Rey is a singer, and then she had a, a not a boyfriend. She she was engaged to an NFL player, and the NFL player like went nuts one night and was like jealous or drunk or whatever. He's an NFL player, so he was he just I don't know became an NFL player and beat the shit out of Lana Del Rey, and so. Eminem decided. Wait a second! Wait a second! Wait a second! No. Are you saying that 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 he, he was really angry and jealous and all of that? So he went and became an NFL player so I, that he could beat her. No, I'm saying that like he, he was a he was technically a professional NFL player, but in my mind. He didn't become a professional NFL player until he either got a DUI, tried to kill somebody, or tried to beat a woman. Because that's the majority of the NFL in my mind. I, I'm, I'm just picturing the coaching on that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen, always open hand. Don't leave a mark. Yeah. Yeah, but but Lana Del Rey got her ass beat by this like giant massive NFL guy. Is that so the one in the elevator? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. All I know, all I know about Lana Del Rey getting beaten by her NFL boyfriend, her NFL fiance, is that Eminem decided to make fun of it. Okay. And uh, Eminem wrote in a song basically that like he's going to beat up MCs with his raps. The same way, like you're gonna get beat so bad, you're gonna think your name is Lana Del Rey. Okay. So he's making fun of a uh, of a woman that got beaten by her boy by her fiance. Yeah. He has a long list of uh, famous women that he has sung about, either wanting to rape, uh, wanting to kill, wanting to have sex with, or want just wanting to beat the shit out of. He once called Britney Spears retarded. Well, he once come called. Come on, there there might be a point there. He once called Nora Jones a whore. Okay. And he also has a history of calling people fags. His first couple of albums are yeah. just littered with all the like lying bitches who did him wrong, and then basically anyone that he hates that's a man, he calls a fag, a dumb fag. A gay fag. And you might think, okay, but that's 1999, 2000, 2002. Yeah. That was a different time. But, um, no, I don't want to share photos in this cult, but it's really nice to know that I can do that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Skype. I did not know that. Then explain his repeated use of fag in his song Rap God that was released in 2013. Yes. So let me see. I got the lyrics here somewhere. Uh, I, see, he falls in the Madonna category for, for me. Like, you know, he's just a fad. You know, people are going to get tired of him, you know, and then they'll just go away and we'll never hear from him again. Yeah, but in but he has a he has a hit song now. He's on the airwaves. Uh like like some uh, like uh, he he was just in the news attacking Donald Trump with one of his raps. He has yeah. an album he's on tour in 2003, the same year that he wrote his uh heavy anti-gay song Rap God. Uh MTV Europe gave him a lifetime achievement award. <laughs> okay. Hey, so I've got some of the lyrics here from his uh, song Rap God, okay? So let me see here. Let me see here. So these are lyrics to an Eminem song from 2013. Okay. Uh, let's see. I attempt these lyrical acrobat stunts while I'm practicing that I'll still be able to break a motherfucking table over the back of a couple of faggots and crack it in half. You fags think this is all a game till I walk a flock of flames off a plank. Okay. And when he says walk a flock of flames, 
he's talking about uh, walking gay people off a plank to their death. Yeah. That's walk a flock of flames. And tell me, what in the fuck are you thinking, little gay-looking boy, so gay I can barely say it with a straight-face-looking boy? That's 2013! Yeah. Like, I'd be upset with that in 1999, but this is 20 freaking 13. He wrote a song about strangling his girlfriend to death, and at the beginning of the century, he repopulated calling people dumb gay fags, and yet somehow he's still a beloved entertainer. I don't understand how. No. He is still a beloved entertainer, and why? Like, this could easily be another installment of Mandela effect moments in popular culture, because I do not understand why people still love Eminem and why there's still an over, a lot of overlap between those two segments. I do not understand. Like people listen to Eminem and people love Eminem and, Oh, did you hear the new Eminem song? And I'm like, really? How can you, how can you support women who are, you know, coming forward with their st- stories of abuse and then go listen to Eminem's song I love punching dumb cunts. Yeah. How can you do that, you know? I support gay rights. Now let me go listen to Eminem. Like that makes no sense to me. <laughs> but I remember in 1999, 2000, 2002, here he is. He's on the radio. He's singing songs about how he wants to beat the shit out of Christina Aguilera. Yeah. He song about he hates gays. Literally 2002, the Marshall Mathers EP, a song called Criminal. Here is a lyric to the song. Quote, hate fags. The answer is yes. And yet I'm seeing this guy on TV receiving awards and getting nominated for fucking Oscars. Yeah. Like, how did this happen? <laughs> and how did this happen? And how do we stop it? He should still, he should not be allowed to still be a massively successful and influential superstar. And then, uh, uh, techno musician Moby, who had a pretty big career of his own and even had a good, a few good sized hits. He had a duet with a uh, fairly young Gwen Stefani when she was still a, a ska punk before she turned full on diva. She has a Christmas album now. <laughs> The young punk girl who wrote I'm Just a Girl Would Hate the Diva Gwen Stefani with her own clothing line and a Christmas album. But anyway, uh, Moby. So uh-huh. Moby, he's like this techno artist and he has a number of hits. And then uh, uh, Eminem comes out with all of his freaking music and he's super crazy popular. And Moby comes out and he's like, hey, um, I support women and i support gays and it's the year 2000 and i'm thinking that we shouldn't allow eminem to do this so eminem started writing a number of songs about how he wants to beat the shit out of moby okay in fact in his huge hit without me he literally writes uh you 36 year old boy you fag blow me you don't know me you're too old, let go, it's over, nobody listens to techno. And that was in a hit song. Basically, Eminem like destroyed Moby's career. Really? That that destroyed yeah. the career? Yeah, That's... like after that, Moby was not as popular because suddenly, like in the number one song in America, there's a huge lyric all about how Moby sucks. And the video showed Eminem and all of his friends beating up a Moby lookalike. And that was just in one popular song. A number of other songs were about how he wants to beat the shit out of and kill Moby because he's a dumb fag. Okay. Basically, like, like destroyed Moby's career. But Moby was right. We shouldn't have allowed any of this to happen. Yeah. So this is what I'm thinking, too. This is what I'm thinking. So uh, 1999, 2000, 2002, that was like Eminem's really big peak. And a lot of his fans were like angry white boys that were 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 in like 1999 or 2000. Yeah. Where are all of those Eminem fans now? Well, now they're a lot older. It's 2017. So they're a lot older. They are wearing khakis and they have jobs in offices and mm. they're they're. They are, you know, they have good careers and wives and kids and they're in the office and it's a Friday 
And the other guys in the office are like, hey, Dave, why don't you come with us this weekend? We're going to go golfing and then talk about uh, how great everything is. And Dave goes, oh, no, sorry. I got this thing I'm doing this weekend. Sorry. And then he leaves the office for the day and immediately goes to Home Depot so he can stock up on tiki torches. <laughs> yeah. For the big rally this weekend. Mm hmm. Like, I see a direct line there between Eminem creating a bunch of angry, gay-hating, women-hating 13 and 14 and 16-year-olds in 1999 and where we are now. Yeah. Can we trace them back? I mean, because the, the KKK these days like to, like to say this is the official pizza of the KKK and other things like that. So, so... What if we find Eminem on a list somewhere? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So basically, uh, Eminem is a horrible person. He recently made the news with a scathing attack on Donald Trump. Uh, a scathing attack on Donald Trump at like the Source Awards or something like that. Yeah. And how much you want to bet? that before the awards, like two weeks, three weeks before the awards, like Eminem's sitting down and he's, he's, he's writing the song. He's like handwriting the song and he's got his handlers with him, you know? Yeah. It's like all these famous people have handlers, like a wild animal has a handler. All these celebrities, <laughs> all these celebrities have handlers. Cause there's no way that like, there's no way that like, uh, that like a John Travolta can be a regular member of society. John Travolta can't pay bills. No, John Travolta can't order something at a Burger King. Like he has no, he can't be a regular human. So he has handlers. So how much you want to bet that Eminem's there? Like, yeah, I'm going to be on the source awards and I'm going to be writing a rap against Trump. And, uh, cause that's, cause that's really popular these days. <laughs> hey, uh, M, M and M, didn't you uh, support Trump in the beginning? Uh, shut up, shut up. That doesn't matter. Look, I'm going to be writing this rap against Trump, and so I'm going to really attack him. So let me write this song right now. Let me write this song. Donald Trump, you dumb gay fag, and his handlers are like, no, 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 no. You can't do that. You can't do that. You, you can't. You can't start off the song like that. Okay, okay. I won't. I won't. How about this, Donald Trump? You suck. Like a fag. No, 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 no. Eminem, you stop. <laughs> you can't do that. And Eminem starts pouting. But yeah. he's a guy. I don't know how to attack guys without using those terms. Man, writing this is hard. <laughs> and the worst part about all of this story is that Eminem acts that, like by cussing and being controversial that he's a rebellious hero. Yeah. You know, like, again, that stupid song without me, he, 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 there's, there's a lyric that just pisses me off. Anytime I hear the song where he's talking about, uh, kids who are embarrassed that their parents still listen to Elvis until someone comes along on a mission and yells, bitch, a visionary. <laughs> A rebel. Yeah. Could start a revolution. It's like, dude, you're not Che Guevara because you call women cunt bags. No. <laughs> so the bottom line is if you like gay people, if you support women, if you love women and support them, then you can't like Eminem. Fuck that guy. He needs to grow up and he can't be famous anymore. Well, but see, now I'm in the position where I would literally have to go out and buy his albums so that I can burn them in protest. So, yeah, yeah, I'm not really sure how comfortable I am with that particular part of it. You still get the money. Hello. Yeah. He doesn't care yeah. what you do with it later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's. My unpopular opinions. Eminem is still huge. He's on the like, they made this big, huge list of like the 100 uh, greatest rap artists. 
ever. And he, of course, he's like on the list because he's Eminem and he's quote unquote the rap god and people still love him. And it's just how I don't understand how we allowed him to be famous. No. You know, this is freaking America. But trust me, he's just going to be a flash in the pan, just like Madonna. Yeah. You know, but so. Madonna pisses me off too because Madonna still in her Madonna mind thinks that she is the most important person in the world. Yes. It doesn't matter what she how long it's been since she's done anything, she is in her mind still the most important person in the world. Anyway, you can't call people gay, you can't call people fags. Those are horrible words and they can't be used. And the fact that he is still writing songs and using these horrible, horrible terms that no one should use, that no one is allowed to use. It's just disgusting to me that this man is still allowed to be famous. But really, we need to cut him off. Uh-huh. We need to cut him off. Anyway, that's that the would end. That would not bother me in the least. No, it wouldn't bother me at all either. It wouldn't bother me in the slightest. Because I'm, I'm uh, always shocked when Eminem's name comes up in a conversation anyway. Like, he's yeah. still around, really? Yeah, I, I, I heard his new song, Walk on Water, and I'm like, oh, fuck you. Fuck yeah. you, Eminem. You're not Jesus, you son of a bitch. They actually Ooh. let the white rapper become famous? Yeah. I, Huge, I, massive famous. I, I don't Black understand Black. that. Yeah. Fucking ridiculous. At least Macklemore stands up for gay people. 